God bless you, brothers and sisters. I'm trying to test the sound right now. So I hope that you all, um, first of all, are well and are able to hear me. So I am Pastor Abby. I co-pastor uh, Freedom in Truth Church along with my lovely husband, uh, Calvin Billups. And we are here uh, called by the Lord to, to serve in, in the church and to serve with his people, to instruct, to disciple, um, as long as the Lord have us doing it. So God bless you. This is Friday Bible study, uh, virtual Bible study. And I hope that you're able to, to share this, this study, to share with, uh, with other people, whoever you're able to or be interested on, on sharing. So when you start watching, please uh, share this Bible study with people and, and give us a like. Uh, so that way this, this work will, will continue moving forward and uh, many others will be able to hear it. Amen. Again, if you have a good comment, a prayer request, or something in that um, in that uh, uh, way, you able to put a comment and and we'll answer you back in timely manner. And but if if the the study uh, that you're watching it is not of your liking and you have something something ugly, something not. Or something unkind to say and you place a comment then it will be removed without any making any uh, back and forth discussion or nothing it will just be removed so that's just a, a fair warning so thank you Jesus today is the the eighth Bible study and I I have to say I am very glad and very happy with the Lord the way he's conducting these things um, um, I did send an early announcement that the Bible study was not going to be done on time for several tons of reasons but I don't want to take no more of your time and I'm going to go ahead and get started amen so thank you Jesus today is August the 13th yes Friday the 13th amazing uh, some people really believe that on Friday the 13th, it's, it's a bad luck or, or, or something bad happened. I say, every day is made by the Lord because the Lord give you every day for an opportunity to either come to Him or to serve Him or an opportunity to do something good and great for His kingdom. Amen? So no, uh, needless to say, I don't believe in, in none of those uh, superstitions. Friday the 13th is an amazing day, just like any other day. Amen? So, this Bible study will be all in English, and I will try to have um, another one for all in Spanish. And I'm going to try to be as short as possible. This is actually a short Bible study, but I will just let the Lord do as He wants to do. Amen? I am going to give a short disclaimer. And the disclaimer, disclaimer is that this Bible study um, is not to bring you fear, but it's to encourage you. And if you are already saved and serving the Lord, Jesus, keep on. If you are not, then turn around and follow him. Amen? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for that. So, again, this is an other another series a uh, part of a series do not be deceived this is an end time series this is part eight praise god for what he is going to speak so as you know today is brace yourself brace yourself again this is not gonna be a this is not gonna be a long bible study it's gonna be a short one because i'm gonna uh, put several links and several things in the in the description box where you will be able to follow um, follow and, and, and listen for yourself different different prophecies and different things that uh, that we me and Pastor Calvin live by the Lord been uh, following and listening to as well amen so praise God and enjoy 
I'm going to start with Jeremiah 1, 17, 19. And it actually says, praise God. It says, brace yourself, Jeremiah. Stand up and say to them whatever I tell you to say. Don't be terrified in their presence or I will make you even more terrified in their presence. Today I have made you like a fortified city, an iron pillar, and bronze wall. You will be able to stand up in the whole land. You will be able to stand up in to Judah, Judah's kings, its officials, its priests, and all the common people. They will fight you, but they will not defeat you. I am with you and I will rescue you, declares the Lord. So just that scripture alone gave me enough courage to, to bring that, to bring this, uh, this amazing prophecies and this amazing word of the Lord to you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So let's just describe first what is the definition of brace yourself. What does it mean, brace yourself? What, it, what is that? So brace yourself is a warning to someone to be prepared for something. Brace yourself, I have some bad news. That's just an example of a statement where you will use the phrase, brace yourself. Okay, so in August 2020, this is just a little history of Freedom in Truth Church. In August 2020, I'm trying to think of the date. I'm thinking maybe it's the 26th or the 24th. It was a Sunday. The Lord gave us an urgency to share with our church the prophetic dreams of Pastor Dana Coverstone. And so we did. This was a prophetic dream speaking of exactly what has been going on in the entire world from COVID-19 to riots and the political changes. The pastor's uh, Facebook, the pastor's Facebook and YouTube page is called Brace Yourself. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I'm gonna move the screen just a little bit so you all can see. Okay, so Pastor Dana Coverstone have made many, have more many more sorry many more dreams after the first one and the first one he had it was in i believe june 2020 i am not going to speak too much about all his dreams because it's is many actually but i will add his link to the comment section uh, we pastor calvin and i uh, recommend you to watch to watch and and to and to follow uh, follow these prophecies. Pray, embrace yourself. So this will be a screenshot of of Pastor Dana Coverstone. Uh, his page is actually called Brace Yourself, and he he have daily prayers. He have um, daily videos that he send from from. Uh, a vigilant prayer to to a call for prayer uh, just different things different things going on uh, again we are not telling you this unless we were we were confident that the Lord is telling us that this is something this is something that we we must pay attention to amen so this link was all, would also be placed in the comment box and in the comment section Okay, no, this right here is Pastor Dana Coverstone um, video on YouTube, the link of YouTube. This is what it looks like, called Brace Yourself. And this one right here is the Facebook of Brace Yourself. I don't know if you're able to see, but in, in the YouTube section, uh, Pastor Dana Coverstone actually have 72.9K subscribers. That's a lot of subscribers. Praise God because a lot of people is also feeling the 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 heat and the warning and and is is paying attention what the Lord is speaking 
through this pastor. Amen. And then I don't know if you're able to see the followers and members of this. Um, it's a private. It's a private group uh, called Brace Yourself uh, Prophetic Dreams by Dana Coverstone. Is 25.4 K members. He also have another. He also have another um, page on on a, on a different app. Uh, we also are members in that app. Uh, it's called Jump. It's similar to to Facebook, but as you know, Big Tech, Big Brother is actually controlling a lot of the things that is placed in Facebook, especially especially when it's about prophetic and when it's about God. And there's not much of freedom. Uh, neither in YouTube or 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 Facebook, so that's why they um, they have created different platforms where people can freely speak. It's just a matter of people joining. Amen. So this will also be placed in the comment section. We also have been following several other prophets, like Sadhu Sundar Salvarag, a heavily anointed prophet of these days also gave a prof uh, prophecy about COVID-19 back in September 20 2019 and the current variant Delta and Delta Plus along with other prophetic warnings we recommend you also to watch these videos this right here is a screenshot of of uh, Prophet, uh, Prophet Sadu, that's his YouTube channel, and as you can see, um, the followers and subscribers are actually 279k subscribers. Praise God! It's a lot of people that is uh, following the prophecies. And now I want, I, I just want to make this clear that when we say following, following the prophet, we are not encouraging you to follow the man but we are encouraging you uh, it's just that's what it's called following uh, whether it's in YouTube or or Facebook but we are encouraging you to listen to to listen to the prophecies to pray about it yourself and the Holy Spirit will reveal to you if this is a legit prophecy or not so again we will leave this link in the comment section and this is a uh, pastor, uh, not a uh, prophet, Prophet Sadhu Sundar Salvarag. That's his website. And um, I was trying to find out how many languages. Uh, this is his website. They they have probably pretty close to pretty close to twenty different languages. Um, his channel, his his uh, it's called Angel TV, and this website is actually go 24 7 24 7 different prophecies different preachings different messages um this prophet this prophet god has again is has heavily anointed him to bring the word of god we uh we encourage and that we uh, we support these kind of prophecies again we are not following the man we are following the Spirit of God that is showing in this in these people. Amen. So these are different screenshots. This is only a few out of hundreds of different prophecies that the past uh, I'm sorry, the prophet Sadhu Sundar Salvarag has actually gave a prophecy about prophecy about COVID-19 and more COVID-19 to come in 2022. Also uh 2022 prophecies evil that will happen and then six prophecies for 2021 also god judgment has begun that's a that's a name of another prophecy um what is next that is to happen in america uh europe is destroyed and so this is just the titles some of the titles anyway of some of his um uh, prophecies that has come out so this one right here is a prophecy 2022 onwards dangerous things going to come and then um, a new deadly virus 
is coming. This is another prophecy that he uh, that he's speaking of, and this prophecy right here is is really not long. This prophecy right here is he prophesied that there will be fire in the sea, and and I have a short video that I would like to share with you. Uh, this is a short short video that uh, explains actually explains a little bit more of what um what is what is he talking about amen so just give me give me one second so i'll be able to to show you Okay, I finally got it. So I'm trying to shrink the screen and... Oh, one second. Technology, right? But thank you so much for your patience. So it's, I just feel that it's important that you, that you all uh, listen to. This is, this is an actual uh, prophecy that, that he spoke about. Yep, I'm not able to. So I'm going to go ahead and pause my background music and I'm going to let you listen to this one. huge blaze of the ocean surface near Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. The videos of the firefighting operations have gone viral on the internet. The blaze was dubbed an eye of fire on social media due to its circular shape, but several vessels were seen streaming nitrogen and water onto it to douse the flames.
fire took five hours to be completely extinguished. The fire reached a short distance from the state oil company Pemex platform. As per reports, the fire began in an underwater pipeline that connects to a platform at Pemex flagship Ku Malub Zap Oil Development, which is the company's most important. These amazing things that is happening, amen. So, so continuing, praise God. Continuing with this uh, Bible study, I, I just want to uh, say again, I'm not here to tell you about the man. I'm here to tell you about the amazing spirit of the Lord that He has revealed to prophets. If it happens in the past. If it happens in, in the in the Bible about prophets that will come and speak about even speak about uh, the coming of the Lord that Jesus was gonna be born even 400 years before Jesus was born, I I am telling you it's he say he will also send prophets of the day of the modern days, and and I believe because the spirit of God is one, the spirit of God connects with the spirit that is of God in you that is the spirit of God in these prophets yes I do believe and there was one of the uh, part of the series that is called false prophets that I believe that just like God has his prophets the devil also have his prophets maybe you say how would you know well connect with the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is it's like a network it's like an is like the he is the electricity they if you plug in your your device into the wall you will know you will feel the electricity you you will be part of it but if you don't if you unplug yourself if you don't pray if you don't read the bible if you if you are not following jesus the way you're supposed to then you will be extremely confused so again all of this is not to scare you all of this is actually to encourage you so let's continue you might ask yourself exactly what I just said while well, I go why is Pastor Abby is telling me or telling us all about this now well because the Lord has been telling us throughout the many many years of these prophecies and they have they've been happening but um, not many pastors is talking about it hmm why kind of like the emoji hmm. why right well maybe just maybe they're afraid the pastors might be afraid the people get too frightened and leave their church we will never know really because a lot of pastors are not talking about it and and i i just want you to know uh since we have given the prophecy uh and share some of these prophecies and and share some of these um this uh end times we even with our church there was a big um how can i say there was a big commotion there was a big commotion even in our church um uh, people that that there was uh feeling i guess uh unsure unsettled and and they they began they began reacting to the prophecies some for good and some for bad so seek the lord seek the lord and he will tell you he will confirm what i am telling you now thank you lord for that so again we are only doing what the lord jesus is telling us to do and jesus told us to listen to these prophets among others and share the warnings so people will brace themselves you might ask yourself, how do you know when a prophet is legit? See the signs and follow. 
So the Lord has been giving warnings throughout the Bible, throughout the years, in many different ways, through all his people, and through basically all the books of the Bible. But um, one of the, the main prophecies is the book of Revelation. A lot of people don't like the book of Revelation. But I'm telling you, if you, it, the, the Bible is not a, a meat market where you just go and pick whatever you like. No, the Bible, you either take it all or take none of it. Because this is, that's also salvation. You cannot just declare yourself saved one day and then the, the next day, oh, I, I don't, I, I'm not going to be saved today. So I think I'm just going to send a little. And then tomorrow I will declare myself saved. I'm sorry. It, it just doesn't work that way. You either take it all or you don't. Praise God. So blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written wherein for the time is at hand. Revelations 1.3. This is King James Version. But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty. That's 2 Timothy 3, 1. Revelations 4, 11, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. Thank you, Lord. So this is just a small list of different uh, prophecies, signs uh, of the end times in the world. So in the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 4, you're going to find the, the, uh, the knowledge explosion. When things begin, when the knowledge began to, to be in the world. Um, prophecy number 2, Zach, uh, Zechariah. 11, I'm, I'm sorry, 14, 12 through 15 speaks about the plagues in the Middle East. And then Isaiah 66, 8 through 10 speaks about the rebirth of Israel. And then Jeremiah 23, 7 and 8 speaks about the Jews will return home. Though all of these are prophecies. And then Luke 21, 24 speaks about Jerusalem, no no long under Gentile control. Revelations 11, 3, 7 through 10 speaks about international instant communication, the internet. And then Matthew 24, verse 4 speaks about days of deception. Matthew 24, 7 through 8 speaks about famines and pestilence. Matthew 24, verse 8 through 7. I'm sorry, verse 7 through 8 speaks about earthquakes. And Matthew 24, 36 speaks about as in the days of Noah. So as in the days of Noah, right before the flood, right before the destruction of the world, is when, is when the Lord sent this uh, great man of God, this great servant, Noah, to warn them, to warn the people. And apparently he did it for several decades. Well, I am telling you now, brothers and sisters, or whoever is listening to, me, listening to me out there, I don't think we have decades. I mean, it will be great if we do. I will love it. I will love it if I am so wrong. That means that we have more time. But I honestly don't think that we have more time. And anybody that asks me that question, I will tell them the same thing. Praise God for the prophecies. Amen? So, in conclusion... What can we say? And this, I told you, this was a short Bible study. It extended because of the video. But in conclusion, our advice, and I'm talking about uh, me and Pastor Calvin. If he was available, I will have him here telling you this as well. But I know that he, uh, <clears throat> him and I are, are one with this message. Our advice to you, the listener, is be brave, be warned. Be prayerful, be faithful, be trusting in God, be diligent, be prepared spiritually and physically, and don't be afraid, for He is with you. 
Thank you, Jesus. So, if you would, please join me in prayer. Amen. Father God, I want to thank you. I want to thank you, Lord, for, for those that are listening right now. Those that are that are doubting you, those people that are just doubting the prophecies, whether it's Christian people or people that goes to church plainly. Lord Jesus, right now I ask that you pour out, pour out, my Lord, peace in their hearts, because I know that this kind of this kind of videos, this kind of um, announcements, this kind of Bible studies sometimes um, make them more edgy. But Lord Jesus. Please give them peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord Jesus, give them salvation, give them conviction. Lord Jesus, prepare them, prepare them for what is to come. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters, if you have listened to this video and and you uh, feeling fear, if you're feeling um, edgy as I was saying in the prayer if you are feeling some kind of abnormal way I'm just I'm you know us we always tell you the truth it's very very possible that you're just not ready you are not ready if the Lord is to come tonight you are not ready if you're feeling if you're feeling fear if you're feeling like um, sad even you're not ready and I am telling you now you better be prepared you better be ready now this is things that has been it's been spoken for for years and years and years that you, you used to hear your grandma talk about this or somebody else's grandma for that matter brothers and sisters and anybody who is listening out there be brave brace yourself what is to come trust the Lord that just like he rescued Noah, just like he rescued Noah's family, you want to be part of, of God's family. Follow Jesus if you are not following him. I, I was trying to make this shorter than 30 minutes, but I'm just telling you that tomorrow is not guaranteed for us. But those who trust in the Lord, the Bible says that it will gain strength. It will gain strength like eagles. And it was not meant for us to be weak. And fear is a sign of weakness. It was meant for us to be brave. It, for, it was meant for us to be, to be fast. To be steadfast, to be, to be diligent is, is what I, the, the short list that I mentioned to you a while ago. Brother and sister, if you don't feel that you're ready, please send your information in the in the comment section, whether it's YouTube or Facebook. And you, if you want a prayer, if you want somebody to pray with you, just say, pray for me. You don't have to put your name. You don't have to put your address, your social security, none of that. You just say, pray for me. Just pray for me. Or if you wish, for us to pray with you and for you, um, and, and you wish to put your email address, we can connect that way. This is what the Lord called us for, for these days, for such a time as this. I'm telling you, it's not a waste of time. It's not a waste of time for today. Tomorrow is not a guarantee for you. We love you, God bless you, and this uh, for next week, for next Friday, it will be part nine, and we will be speaking about do not be deceived. God is not mocked. And whew, I'm just so excited because um, this past week I I sent um, an announcement of something that they was doing, uh, something idiotic that they was doing in, in, in Facebook. So we're going to be talking about that, okay? So God bless you. For those that are part of Freedom in True Church, we will see you on Sunday. And for those who are a part of the universal church that is all over the world, those that has believed in Christ and that are following and serving, God bless you, family of Christ. And brace yourself. Be prepared.
consider yourself warned. God bless you. We love you.